We at Angkau Reservoir. Chiang Mai, baby. Places don't get much better than this. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Out about again today in the glorious Chiang Mai, which is very overcast. It's been overcast for, well, for a few weeks now. Rain, rain and drizzle and storms and stuff. So there's a bit of sun trying to poke through today. I'm off to one of my favorite places today, um, Ang Kao Reservoir up in the Chiang Mai University. It's nice to chill up there and stuff. So I thought we'd go up there today and have a little chill, have a walk around, walk around the lake. It's beautiful up there. It's I like to go there and chill sometimes and do some exercise. And it's a nice little ride from where I live as well. I'm um, just stopped off in one of my favorite little vegetarian places. Um, all the menus in Thai, so you'll need to ask her, but she's pretty good. It's all around 35, 40 baht lit, pad Thai, all about one pound. $1.50 sweating sweating like a moose once again and the temperatures are even lower now it's only like 28 29 today I think so but it's always hot man even when it cools off a bit it's still roasting hot yeah so I'm gonna have some food and we'll head off to Ankal Reservoir after and I'll show you around this beautiful lake and the beautiful um, university area Cockman crab, thank you. So there it is guys. I've actually gone for a pad thai again. Um, I like the pad thai here. She does a nice, nice portion with some side extras as well. So I'm gonna tuck into this. Well full now, full up for, for dinner time. On the way to to the reservoir, I thought I'd stop off at Swan Dock, Swan Dock uh, Temple, which is always a beautiful temple here. And I've not been here for a while, but yeah, I thought we'd have a little, little stop off. As you can see, look, you're told to respect the temple, take photos of appropriate manner. Do not hug or kiss. Ladies, please dress politely. Cover your knees. Wat Swan Dock Temple, Chiang Mai. Yeah, so I've been here before um, in one of my one of my earlier vlogs. Probably about a year ago now, but it was just a quick quick little um quick little vlog really. Yeah, it's just gonna be quick here today really guys. I'm off to the reservoir really, but I thought I'd just stop off here. It's always good to see this temple when I'm up around this area. So it's good to come and have a look. Another chilled out day in the Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai city. Um, it's Sunday, so not doing a lot today. I'm just gonna go out on a bike. I've already done the gym. I've already been in the gym for an hour and I'm doing two sessions a day now in the morning and in the late afternoon I go to the gym and out on the bike in the afternoon but yeah we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit about fitness and keeping healthy and fit when you're in when you're away for long periods of time with all the um with all the goodies that Thailand provide it's easy to it's easy to lose track on your health sometimes um it's, it's always good to keep in trim I think I mean, I'm not getting any younger either, so it's always good to keep healthy. Touch wood, I am. <laughs> it's easy to let yourself go here if if you go down that route, which I'm not here for that anyway. I'm not here to like sit in the bars every night and eat junk food every day. I mean, I'm a lot healthier here since since I've got here from back home. 
in England or, or processed food and things like that. I'm a lot more healthier, I think. That's why I'm up. Just a little flying visit. We are gonna head off to the reservoir, man. The reservoir is one of my favorite places in the old city. It's absolutely stunning up there. It's a beautiful spot. You got the mountains in the background, then you got the reservoir. Nice little walking way around it, like many people go there to exercise and chill out. It's great to chill out. It is on the um, university ground, so the university is a big place, really. It's got coffee shops all around it and lovely little places to walk and stuff, you know. So, yeah, you'll see for yourself in a bit. We're going to head off there now. Yeah, this is my little buddy. Yeah. Take it easy, man. Yeah, give me five. Yeah. Hey, your friends are waiting. See you. Take care. <laughs> so there's many ways to get into Chiang Mai University. I mean, I've seen, I've seen three or four myself, and I, I think there's even more than that. Um, they're scattered about everywhere. I used to come in down on the other road, but now I come in on Hoi Khao Road. If you come up Hoi Khao Road from the moat and go past Maya Moor and just keep going up then on the left you get to this entrance here and um, this entrance here will is closer to the lake so if you go into an entrance down down further you'll have to work your way through the university and find the lake and I'll tell you it's, it's quite challenging I've been in I've been in through the other end before and didn't realize how big the university was really but yeah I'd say this is the best way for the lake so yeah we're gonna head in and have security on the gate sometimes if you're driving here and um, a Thai person has to give their driving license on the way in or their ID card it's one of the two and then then you get your ID card on the way back um, sometimes they have stopped me on a bicycle and sometimes they just let me go right free. Yeah, I'm gonna rig the camera up to the bike and yeah, we'll go in, check the lake out. Nice relaxing place and walk around the lake, chill out, have a chat. Let's do this. Chiang Mai University. It's beautiful in here. Beautiful grounds. Nicely well maintained. Sweaty crap, it's okay? Thank you. Ah, so they didn't stop me today. Sometimes they just stop me and ask me, what are you doing, you know? Uh, this, this end of the um, uni, they know where you're going really, they know you're going to the lake. It's all ready, it just feels calmer, it feels more chilled. I just feel like less stressful already. Got the mountain in the background, look. Got the beautiful reservoir lake. Got a coffee shop. Ah, blissful. Check it out, man. This is Angkau Reservoir, Chiang Mai. And located inside Chiang Mai University. It's absolutely beautiful up here. It's not massive, massive reservoir, but it's just the perfect size. Perfect size to walk around. I mean, look at that view. Jungle, mountain, behind. It's a pity it's another overcast day, but we can't do nothing about the weather, eh? Can't complain in Thailand. 90% of the time, it is just blazing sunshine. It's never been all the way around, so I might try and do it today. I mean, there's some great little great little walkways and great little places to sit 
on the way around and this little island here is full of birds all you can hear is like birds and there's thousands of them I don't know if you can hear them now but when we walk around might be able to pick it up a bit better yeah so it is a reservoir guys I actually thought it was a lake when I first come here it does look like a lake to me but it is actually a working reservoir look and you've got that view again look absolutely amazing and with the cloud lit over the top gorillas in the mist that's what it reminds me of that film Sigourney Weaver gorillas in the mist I mean coming here to do fitness every day I mean what what more do you want if I lived in Niman I would come here every day I would ride my bike um, I'm not sure if they've got any weights in that here free weight park I'm sure they have somewhere in the university I mean I've met some people that that have been here like a year two years and they don't even know where this place is they're just down in the city and some of them even living in Niman you know <laughs> which is just two minutes two minutes that way and um, there's always people here vlogging and taking pictures Look at that beautiful little house on top of there that would do me little house on top of that mountain no one around looking down onto this lake that would do me it's important to keep fit when you're in Thailand really um, if you're here long term like I am or hopefully even longer I've been here quite a while more than the average traveler I think so yeah with all the things Thailand have to offer nightlife things like that in alcohol girls it's 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 good to keep your keep your health in check um, yeah my younger days I didn't really care about care about my health what well, you don't do you, when you're younger you don't really care about about all that you just want to go out have a good time and things and as you get older you start to get start to get little niggles and I put it down to I put it down to my lifestyle when I was younger I think just boozing and out every night partying yeah that's and just eating rubbish so yeah, I've changed that side of my life a little bit once I've got older now I don't really don't really drink so much and don't smoke man when I first came to Thailand I was smoking like 30 40 roll-ups a day <laughs> just sleeping most of the day and heading to the bars at night I mean how my life's changed is incredible really so, uh, yeah, I wouldn't change how I live now for anything. I mean, look, I wouldn't change where I am right now, this minute, for anything either. I mean, that just... This is perfect for me. This is what I like. I like mountains. So, yeah, let's get moving, man. Let's get moving round, round the lake. I don't know how long it'll take. I've only got an hour's juice on the battery trees either fell over or just been left probably in the storms or when the bad weather hit but yeah there's the bird island I don't know if you can hear it on the camera microphones so this bridge is where I got to last time and turned back again Peace and quiet, beautiful trees. So they got maps here, look, if anyone. University map. See, there's loads of things on here. There's loads of things in this university ground. You've even got a post office, clinic, bank, health facilities. Um, this is this is part of 
what I would do normally. Not at this location, but I would be in the park or something or out on the bike. And I know a lot of you have been asking about the cost of living and how I, how I do things here, my budget and things. So, so yeah, I'm looking into doing that. I didn't really want to do it. I didn't really want to do a cost of living because, you know, you always get them people like, eh, you're living, you must be loving, um, living on the streets, you know, you always get them sort of people. You can't live on that budget. He's just there with no money. He can't afford to live in the UK, so he's just living on noodles in Chiang Mai. You get all them sort of people, but yeah, I thought about, I thought about it, and I wasn't gonna do cost of living, but I probably will at some point, because, because it's not like that, you know. Just because you live in Chiang Mai on a budget, it doesn't mean you're living on the breadline. Doesn't mean you're on noodles every day. I mean, I was, I was living on a budget in England. Everybody lives on a budget, so it don't matter where you are. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't spend much here, but I'm, I'm a happier person here. I eat better food here. I'm, I'm just all around. My life's better here, all around. I don't, yeah, I don't do much activities. I don't do, I don't go out much and socialise. I didn't in England. That's not who I am. If, if you're that sort of person that goes out a lot and you come here and you'll be staying in a lot. And just living a basic lifestyle then obviously it's not for you is it and it's not for you i mean i always say coming to chiang mai long term it's just it takes a certain sort of person it takes a certain sort of person if you want to go out drinking coffee in niman every day heading to the moors buying shopping and all that then yeah then a the small budget's not for you is it it's not it's not for you like I see people moaning all the time on comments and stuff about how they how you must be living this boring life and stuff. But yeah, I'm not I'm not living a boring life. I live I live the quiet life back home. That's what I enjoy. I mean the people here with me in my apartments, they're the same really. You don't you come here and like it and live like this for a reason. It's because that's how you live. That's how. That's how you want to live. I mean, give me another thousand dollars on my budget. Would I use it? Probably not. Would I go out drinking coffee in Niman coffee shops? And would I be out going to the cinema, out drinking down Loikro? Nah, I wouldn't be. That that thousand dollars would probably be not used. Just be, just be saved every month. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't do these things. Even if I had the extra money, I wouldn't do it. So, so yeah, people that want to come here on a budget, don't listen to people. Don't listen to people, man, that say you're going to be living a shit life. You're not, man. I mean, let's get real about things. There is, there is a limit on a budget, you know. There is. Let's not get stupid about it and try and come here on a hundred or two hundred. $300 a month, you know, that is just stupid. If you're the same sort of person that just wants to get away, live a simple life, get a bike, get a motorbike, get a nice room, spend some time of the day in your room, or, or even that, you don't have to do that either. I mean, there's places like this, this is all free. This is all free. I mean, what, what do you want to be doing? Just be spending two thousand dollars a month what what do people want to be doing like i said if if that's what you want to do then get some more money get some more money and come here but it is possible it is possible to stay here sweaty crab it is possible to come here on a low budget don't let anyone tell you otherwise I've sort of lost my way around here, man. <laughs> Was going all the way around, but not gonna now. Gonna be heading back the way I come, I think. I mean, there is some, 
I mean, if you had a girlfriend, yeah, then it'd be different then. If you've got a girlfriend here, you would have to spend a bit more money. Yeah, Thai people do. It is their culture that like, you're gonna have to take care of them. But no, nah, no, nah, they're not all looking for like the Ritz. They're not all looking for you to take them, take them out every day to the best places. You find a nice girl, you know. One that will just chill, watch movies in your room. Go and eat some nice food. Things like that. Have a coffee back in your balcony and just chill like that. It's perfect. I mean, everyone's always got an opinion on Thailand. Everyone's an expert. Um, for me, it don't matter if you've been here one day or 10 years. Don't let anyone tell you what you want to do or what you think. Even if you've got to learn your own way with mistakes, do it like that. Listen to some people and see if that's how you want to do it as well. Hello. Hey, you don't like me. He's angry with me. <laughs> Hello. Hey, chill out. <laughs> this spot is beautiful. See the whole range of this beautiful scenery. I thought there would be a few more people here today. And some days are more busy than others. Yeah, so that's me just checking in, guys. Um, I've made this vlog longer than I should have. Chiang Mai, cloudy day in August. Where else would you want to be? I'm happy where I am. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna head back in a minute because I'm absolutely sweating. So yeah, take it easy guys, take it easy. Yeah, it's just full of birds, look. That island is just full of it. Crazy, man.